Hey guys, and welcome back to the Saint X Elijah YouTube channel. Today's video is back for Blood, top 5 things I'd like to see. I think this game has a lot of potential as long as they don't copy Left 4 Dead's outdated model, even though they are copying the gameplay, which I think is still excellent nowadays, especially now that there's aiming, and I think it's going to be a great game. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know your ideas for Back for Blood, and let's hop right into it. Number one. A return of versus mode. This is already confirmed in the game and I'm super excited about it. Versus mode was a great way to keep the game entertaining and competitive. Plus with the possibility of adding crossplay, everyone will be able to play no matter their console. With the introduction Duck. of bigger and badder boss zombies, I hope to see the game receive possible balance changes when needed and perhaps even a ranking system for both the zombies and the survivors, so you can prove your skill and move up the rank similar to Rocket League or League of Legends. Number two. DLC maps and updates. The next thing I'd love to see in Back for Blood is free DLC and updates, but if not free, a yearly pass similar to Destiny's could also be great, adding more maps, game modes, characters, and more could keep the game interesting for a very long time. Also adding more boss infected later on could bring players back to encounter new challenges and master the new bosses in versus mode. I think it would be best if they could make maps and bosses free as then they won't separate their community and it'll be easier to find a match. Number 3 Customization One thing Left 4 Dead lacked in was customization. With Back for Blood, I think the developers have a fresh new opportunity to add in character customization, even if it's just their clothes. But why stop there? Customizable zombies for versus mode would be amazing too, as well as unlocking weapon camos to really make your character feel like you. This could really increase replayability and make people want to grind for those extra cool cosmetics. Number 4 more variety in throwables leading to new strategies. The previous games had throwables like the Biobomb, Pipe Bomb, and Molotov. But in this new game, I'd love to see many more options such as Simtex, cookable grenades, tomahawks, maybe even some sort of meat that distracts the zombies for a short period of time. Not every throwable needs to be amazing. Some can be more commonly found than others and planning which throwable you want to hold could be the difference between life and death. Number 5 A leveling system in Season Battle Pass The final thing I'd like to see in Back for Blood is a leveling up system similar to Call of Duty. Earning experience for everything you do and then unlocking skins, clothing, camos, and other cosmetics. This could even be a seasonal thing similar to Fortnite or Rocket League where you can buy the battle pass to work on for a few months and unlock limited available items. Also a leveling system for guns could be cool too. Leveling up guns as you use them and unlocking attachments like different sights, ammo mods, grips, etc. Similar to what Call of Duty has been doing in their most recent game Black Ops Cold War. I think Back for Blood has the potential to be the next big game as long as the developers look at other recent successful game models and take inspiration from them, such as adding a ranking system and adding cosmetic unlockables. I think copying Left 4 Dead's gameplay is fine, but if you copy Left 4 Dead's outdated model, the game will not have as much of a lasting appeal. Share what you think in the comments down below. Do you like my ideas and do you have any of your own? I'd love to know. Also remember to subscribe for more content like this and thumbs up or down the video to show me if you liked it. I'll try to reply to all comments so I hope to see you there and hope to see you again sometime on the channel. Until then, goodbye.